Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Playing with Newton's Laws. I am your lovely host, Mr. Skinner, and my lovely assistant today is Miss Ripkema. I know it's usually one of my students that I just dominate. Today, I'm going to see if Mr. Ripkema can finally be a match for me. Um, we're going to be talking about how Newton's Laws apply to one of my newest and kind of weirdest games, Bounce Off Pop Out. This is kind of like an old school concentration. We both grew up with a game like this that would pop all the pieces out at the end. And that's what this one's going to do. We're going to be racing. We've only got 60 seconds once we start. We're going to be racing to make this shape, but we have to bounce the balls on the table to do this. And while we're doing this, I'm going to be explaining how they apply to Newton's laws. Ms. Ripkema, are you ready to go? Sweet. So <clears throat> Newton's first law of motion will be obvious really quickly off here. On your marks, get set, go. Hey, objects in motion will remain in motion. Hey, that's what they're doing. They are bouncing and then rolling across the table when we miss like this. Hey, <clears throat> oh, Mr. Skinner is halfway, but not really because I'm filling in the wrong holes. Hey, but you see Newton's first law as they bounce away from the table after each other like this. That object is in motion and is staying in motion nonstop hey, as it flies across the table. Hey, <clears throat> oh, I'm like halfway there in two different directions. Hey, <clears throat> It also shows Newton's first law of motion. An object at rest is going to remain at rest, but again, in both cases, until an outside force acts on it. Uh-oh, Miss Ripkin is about to beat me if I don't hurry up. Hey. Hey. So these objects are literally staying at rest once they're in here. No, they're not going to move until, oh, she blocked both of my possible wins. You are killing me here. Oh, well, they stayed at rest until the outside force, in this case, it's the game board's timer, actually caused them to accelerate and bounce out of their spots. So neither one of us won. I came so close, and then she blocked me. Darn, Miss Ripkema, did I lose the ball? Oh, she's got it. Sneaky little. <laughs> hey, the next thing is Newton's second law. Newton's second law states that a force is necessary to accelerate a mass. Hey, well, that one's pretty obvious in this game. It's going to be our muscular force is going to cause these to accelerate. Hey, each time, and that's going to cause them to roll around the table and over onto Mr. Skinner's uh, laptop as he's going here. <clears throat> so it's our muscular force that's actually accelerating these things uh, as they're moving. But you'll also notice if the timer runs out on us again, we saw that in the last one, uh, the force of the spring underneath caused them all to accelerate upwards and bounce out of the tray. Hey, oh, Mr. Skinner blocked her. This time, revenge is mine. <laughs> <clears throat> not helping Mr. Skinner by bouncing in the wrong spot. Not helping Mr. Skinner bouncing in the wrong spot. And it also demonstrates Newton's third law of motion. For every force, there's an equal and opposite force. You see that with the balls bouncing up and then coming back down. Hey, we push it by throwing it down onto the table. Its momentum pushes it down. Hey, it pushes against the table, and the table pushes back against it, and it bounces up into the air. Boom! <laughs> and, and we saw that right there. The force popped them up. And they resisted by trying to come back down. So Newton's third law in action. This is one of my weirder games, and unfortunately, there's no winner or loser. We just both managed to stop the other from winning each time. Hey, thank you, Miss Ripcomer, for helping me out with my new game, Bounce Off Pop Out. Thank you, Mr. 